All right, everyone. Uh, I'm going to split this video into two parts. Uh, the first part is going to be what I've picked up about three, three and a half weeks ago. And the second part is going to be what I picked up in New York City. If you hear anything in the background, that's when he, uh, she, it's, it's hot as fuck out here in Massachusetts right now. It's like 90. It's bad news. It is so hot. And for those of you who are live on the West Coast, you know, I obviously I can't compare to what you're dealing with. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put this into a two-part video. First part is going to be what I picked up off of eBay, off of Amazon, uh, and then a couple of stores I went to, one in Connecticut, one in uh, Holyoke. Um, actually, two in Holyoke, I should say. Uh, and then we're going to go into the second part of the video, it will be a separate video, which is everything I grabbed uh, while I was in New York City. So, let's get on right on into this. Um, First up, and this will be the Amazon pickups along with the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, Amazon pickups and the eBay pickups. Here's the thing, um, I've evolved my collection to three different parts. At, at first it was, well maybe even four different parts now, at first it was uh, just collecting everything I had as a kid and then it evolved into that to, I'm going to pick up every... Uh, I opened up this uh, game here that I just got, sorry for the pause, and there's no thing, there's no uh, inside to it, uh, which means I'm going to have to figure that out. Hopefully I can do this without dropping my keys here. God damn it, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll try. So anyway, I evolved into picking up everything I had uh, from my childhood. And then I evolved that into, okay, well, I'm going to pick up every any Game Boy, original Game Boy game I can find that's complete in box for a decent price. And then it evolved into collecting for other systems like that I never had. For example, Game Gear. For example, GameCom. Uh, 32X. Okay. And then that evolved into trying to pick up every Disney game that came out for the system which then evolved for the systems I own, which then evolved into trying to collect um, movies. or Like, for example, if I have a movie hook, for example, I now have, because I have the movie, I now have to collect all the games that ever came out based on that movie. Or vice versa. If I have a, a game that came out and the movie came out after it, I have to collect not only all the games uh, for every system based on the movie, but again, the movies themselves. Which then finally evolved into uh, where we're at now, which is, okay, if I collect a game that I didn't have, okay, if I collect a game that I didn't have, now all of a sudden it's evolved into I collect the game and then therefore have to collect all the movies that go along with it. So, this may work, this may not. I'm going to try to do this better than nothing. See if it'll close and it uh, I'm gonna have to have to do this the other way, unfortunately here. You'll see immediately, for those of you who have played this game, you'll see immediately what I'm talking about. This is a unfortunate circumstance. I don't have a case for this. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know how the hell this was packaged to begin with. Um this is not good. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, sorry, is this good? If I just do this, maybe I can do this. Yeah, that's what I'll have to do. Okay, and then I'm going to get one of these protective cases, and we're going to finally get on into this. So, let me put this in its protective boxy thing, and we're good to go now. So, oh, this isn't even going to fit because it's too big. It's like the ready to rumble. Oh, this is not fitting. No way. Well, I'll have to figure this out um, eventually, but the first game, which has been a struggle to even put fucking together, okay? The first game is uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer for the Game Boy Color from LucasArts. Um, Star Wars Episode One Racer, the speed and excitement of Star Wars Episode One Racer comes to Game Boy Color. Anakin Skywalker's pod racer adventures continue as they travel to five different worlds to race 20 pod race champions in exhilarating head-to-head -head competition. 
Put yourself in the driver's seat for the ultimate prod racer experience, complete with the rumbling of roaring engines and high-speed collisions. Access new pod racers, open new courses, and race new challenges as you try to become the fastest and most furious pod racer in the galaxy. Based on the exciting pod racer sequence in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, use explosive rocket uh, starts and powerful turbo boost to blast past your opponents. Put your skills to the test in a head-to-head -head two-player race against a friend using the game link cable sold separately. The Game Pack's built-in rumble feature puts all the riveting pod racer action right in the palm of your hand, one AAA battery included. And yes, when I bought the game, the AAA battery was there. Uh, as you can see, the gameplay on the Game Boy Color video game system. So this was the first pickup, Star Wars Episode One racer for the Game Boy Color. Okay, throw this over here. Let me see if I can angle this better downwards. See an airhead there. All right, next up, Star Wars: The Clone Wars Jedi Alliance from Lucas Arts for the Nintendo DS. Two Jedi fight stronger than one. Fight as a pair of Jedi to battle separatist forces in an original story exclusive to the Nintendo DS. Wield your lightsaber with the stylus. Be your favorite Jedi from the new Clone Wars film and TV series. Deliver unique combo attacks with different Jedi teams. www.clonewarsgame.com Again, from LucasArts for the Nintendo DS, we have Star Wars The Clone Wars. Okay. Next up, for the Game Boy Advance, we have the Sealed. Let me put it in its protective case. We have Franklin's Great Adventures from the Game Factory, starring Franklin the Turtle from the book series. Um, Franklin and his two best friends... This is interesting, actually. Yeah. Franklin and his two best friends, Bear and Beaver, set out to help their neighbors explore new places and make new friends. Franklin and his friends have to use their special talents to overcome the many obstacles along their path. Uh, so again, www.gamefactorygames.com for the N Game Boy Advance. We have Franklin's Great Adventures. This is a sealed copy. Okay, next up, let me get another um, protective case. I may run out of these before the night is over. I'm going to have to order more. I'm also going to have to order some uh, Game Gear cases and everything else. But this is a sealed copy. This is from Titus Software, and it's called Virtual Kasparov, the battle game that actually makes you smarter. Okay. Chess is the most ancient and popular battle game in the world. Every card game or strategy board game is a twisted version of the chess game. Virtual Kasparov is actually the only chess game to focus on the battle aspect by proposing a real innovative feature, a story mode just like in popular fighting games. Challenge chess champions from different parts of the world, beat them all to unlock harder challenges against bosses, and work your way up from the average street chess player to Gary Kasparov himself. This game is designed to appeal to beginners, but be a real challenge for advanced players as well. Learn through the extensive tutorial mode, tricks and tips that only a champion can give you. You can watch famous games commented by Gary himself. Train your mind and get sharper with Virtual Kasparov. 31 different opponents, including Gary Kasparov and fully customizable opponents. Extensive tutorial mode with 50 modules and tons of advanced tricks and tips. Exclusive story mode with unlockable bonuses. One or two player mode using the GameLink cable or not. Multiplayer games require a new Game Boy Advance GameLink cable. It shows you here gameplay on the Game Boy Advance video game system. So again, from Titus Software, we have Virtual Kasparov sealed for the Game Boy Advance. Now, I'm collecting, on another part of my collecting, I'm collecting every chess game that was ever made for the systems I have because I'm a huge chess uh, player. Um, I love chess. I've always loved chess. I've always been fascinated by chess. I wish I was a lot better at chess. I consider myself average to a little, maybe a little bit above average, but I'm not the greatest. Um, and I'll challenge anyone to a chess game. If you guys are want to play me online, I can restart my Yahoo Chess or something along those lines, and we'll figure it out. Next up, I got this in pretty damn good condition. Um, it was cheap, I also I believe. I think I paid like maybe 10 bucks for this. From Bulletproof Proof Software for the original Game Boy, I picked up Faceball 2000. Uh, one to four players it shows. And here we go. Welcome to the exciting new world of Faceball 2000, where 3D graphics, first-person perspective, and 360-degree maneuverability put you and up to three friends or foes inside your Game Boy. What you see is where you are, as you team up, compete with each other, or play alone against computer-controlled opponents. Transport yourself inside the walls of Cyberscape, a series of more than 70 treacherous mazes filled with tricks, traps, and menacing enemies. 
or enter the arena where Have a Nice Day takes on a whole new meeting and fast-paced rounds of high-tech combat. Wherever you go in Faceball 2000, it's your chance to wipe the smiles off those annoying happy faces and maybe a few of your friends once and for all. 3D graphics, first-person perspective, continuous 360-degree maneuverability, more than 70 levels of challenging mazes, any combination of one to four players. Again, from Bulletproof Software for the original Game Boy, Faceball 2000. Now, next up for the Game Gear, this is in pretty damn good shape. I have you from U.S. Gold, and they present, U.S. Gold presents Star Wars. Okay, complete in box, a four meg cart, more memory means more action. In the back here, join Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Princess Leia as they wage a fierce war against the Emperor and Darth Vader's evil empire. Fight your way through the wastelands of Tatooine to the stormtrooper-infested Death Star. So grab your blaster, strap on your lightsaber, and pilot your spaceship in the fight for interplanetary, interplanetary freedom. Over 15 galactic areas with 23 stages. Choose from two difficulty levels, Cadet and Jedi. In-game graphics show. plays Luke, Han, or Leia, each with different weapons. Blast and maneuver through space in your X-Wing fighter and the Millennium Falcon. Animated sequences move the action along. Choose your lightsaber or blaster to take out Jawa, Stormtroopers, and Sand People. So for the original Game Gear here, we have a... Uh, the original Game Gear, there's only one Game Gear, it's uh, U.S. Gold Presents Star Wars, okay? Let me move this out of the way. See, I, I'd have more room if I didn't have this these bags here. Maybe if I put these bags down, I'll have other room here. Now, I'm waiting on one game to come. Um, it's a surprise. I was ready, really ready, waiting to do this video until that came. I was, a, I was late uh, buying the game on, on eBay. I had you know, uh, offered, you know, and, and maneuvered my way to, to getting it uh, for a cheaper price than what he was selling it for. Uh, I just was lackadaisical and just didn't buy it, and then I finally bought it the other day. Uh, so, I'm waiting for that to come in the mail, so I was really waiting to do this whole video series, but I said, fuck it, I'm running out of space here in my kitchen with all this shit, and I gotta move, you know, all this stuff downstairs, so I figured I'd just do it. Let me, uh, there we go, we got some room now. Actually, it's Game Boy Advance, so let's go. We'll move Game Boy right over there. Next up, for the 32X in pretty damn good shape, I have, except for the side of the box, here's a little... Unless this was ripped. Oh, boy, is this ripped? This may be ripped off. I don't know. I think it is. For the 32X, we have Star Wars Arcade. Okay, from LucasArts. Launch your X-Wing fighter for the final Death Star assault. The Force is with you as you pursue Darth Vader through an exploding galaxy. You are the last hope for the Rebel Alliance. Two flight views. Cockpit surrounds you with HUD, target info, and video comm. Bird's eye tracks the X-Wing as it slingshots into battle. Eight levels of staggering space warfare straight from the Star Wars trilogy. Astounding 3D graphics and digitized sound. Pilot the X-Wing alone or draft a gunner for two-player mode. 20 meg cart. For the 32X, we have Star Wars Arcade. Put that right over here. All right, next, uh, actually, Game Boy Color I'll throw right over here. All right. Now, I picked this up. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to go into that yet because it's not part of this uh, group. Anyway, sealed for the PC, Triple Play 2000, okay, for Sammy Sosa. Uh, Electronic Arts presents CD-ROM Classics, Triple Play 2000. This is a sealed copy. This is Power Baseball. More control, more action, more power. Game features, uh, enhanced gameplay control, including new mouse control, home run challenge. It's not just how many you hit, it's how far you hit them. Four play modes, single game home run challenge, season playoffs. Oh, home run challenge is one game mode. More camera angles, see the action, make the plays, multiplayer competition, hook up via internet, LAN, modem, or the EA Sports Network. All Major League Baseball teams, stadiums, and uniforms. 1999 team room schedules and rosters. Uh, www.easports.com, www.bigleaguers.com, www.majorleaguebaseball.com. In-game graphics show real emotion, monster home runs, precision hitting, aggressive gameplay, uh, rookie mode, a hitter's dream, pro mode, the showdowns begin, and all-star mode, MLB situations, MLB intensity. Again, sealed for the PC, we have Triple Play 2000. Next up, also sealed for the PC, we have NBA Live 99 with Antoine Walker on the cover. Uh, Electronic Arts presents CD-ROM Classics. NBA Live comes to life. Uh, In-game graphics show new pro action AI. Uh, players think for themselves and break you down. Three-point contest at All-Star Weekend. Dunk on your competition. Only Live delivers dunks this tight. Right over here. Here, new facial animations and player chatter. 
new real NBA plays with diagrams, new licensed NBA arenas. So you have live hoops, fresh new moves including jab steps, fake passes, and aggressive rebounding, plus high-flying new dunks. Real NBA stats, real NBA players, real NBA moves. Create a dynasty with new multiple seasons. Players evolve over time. Enhanced GM mode with full NBA draft and realistic computer trading. Live technology. New sports ticker via the internet. Check NBA scores as you play. Unreal 3D graphics with real-time lighting and hundreds of animations. Unbelievable player detail including fully modeled heads and facial animations. Live style. New pro action AI includes smarter, more realistic player reactions. TV presentation, moving cameras, focus on player highlights, new enhanced play-by-play -play and color commentary. So again, sealed for the PC, NBA Live 99. Now this I grabbed, I thought I was going to return it because I thought I, uh, they sent me something that wasn't listed. But stupid me, I really wasn't paying attention when I bought it, so I'm not really happy about this. But it's two games included. I really only wanted NHL 99, but it came with... EA Sports Tiger Woods 99. Um, so we'll just go into the EA Sports NHL 99 Ice Cold Intimidation. So you have bigger body checks, cannon shots, uh, improved AI, and take one for the team. Smooth analog control. Game features, uh, mocap animations, bigger body checks, harder shots. Show your power with the new shooting meter. AI and puck physics, smarter goalies and players. Beginner level, pick up and play. Mark Crawford coaching strategies, new offensive and defensive zone strategies. Awesome 3D graphics and sound. Supports 30FX, All Rage Pro, and D3O acceleration. Or D3D acceleration, I can't see real good. Six game modes, including new coaching drills. Perfect your plays before the big game. 1998-99 NHL stats, rosters, and player ratings. International play-by-play -play and color commentary. So again, this is a two-pack product. I'm just going to throw over here. Some loud-ass cars you hear outside, or motorcycle. Next up, I got this sealed. It is smushed. I really wasn't happy with the fact that it was smushed, but I don't think I paid a lot for it. Uh, it's another Disney game for the Game Boy Advance. It is, you'll see it in a minute, but it's smushed to hell. Herbie fully loaded. Okay. Uh, become a racing champion with Herbie. Keep Herbie happy and use his special tricks to win races. Use special race moves to become the champion. Use Herbie's happiness meter to give you the edge. Features photos from the film, mini movie poster, uh, mini movie poster inside. I can't I can't read that part there. www.disneygba.com. Disney's Herbie fully loaded from Disney Interactive, sealed for the Game Boy Advance. And then the last game I got from eBay slash uh, Amazon was a. Uh, this isn't sealed. It's an okay shape, but it's for the PC. We got NBA Live 2000 with Tim Duncan on the cover, and you can see Jordan is back. Um, you can go right into here. It moves out. Let me see if I can zoom out. No, nope, I'm as far as I can go. EASports.com. Expand your NBA Live 2000 experience. It's in the game and it's online. Go ahead ahead online. Uh, compete against the best NBA Live 2000 players. EASports.com provides the best matchups with a nationwide community of online competitors. Go head ahead online for nonstop competitive action over the internet or modem. Use the EA Sports Internet Matchmaker to hook up with other players with similar preferences and skill level. Uh, let the com competition know who's got game. Log on to easports.com for upcoming NBA Live 2000 events. And then here, plug into the NBA Live 2000 online network. Get the latest downloads for NBA Live 2000, including up-to-date rosters and patches. Post messages on bulletin boards and chat with other NBA Live 2000 fans. Log on for the latest contests and online basketball games. Uh, here, down here, www.easports.com. Right over here, easports.com. Join the EA Sports online community. Interact and compete with other EA Sports fans and receive the latest information on upcoming games and events. Get insider information. Get the scoop on sports scores and news with an EA Sports slant, including exclusive interviews with EA Sports pros who play in EA Sports event coverage. Compete online. Play sports-based web games that deliver EA Sports gameplay online. Find out about the latest EA Sports tournaments and events and check out your standings against other EA Sports competitors. Learn more about EA Sports games. Get the latest product information for all of your favorite EA Sports games, including screenshots, video clips, feature sets, exclusive game tips and codes, and special offers. Here, NBA.com, visit the NBA. And then if we go to the back, the greats are back, they say, and the in-game graphics say, play with the legends, customize your team, challenge MJ one-on-one, -on -one, put yourself in the game, 
Break down the uh, opposition, more NBA motion, and old school versus new school, www.easports.com. The features, take our legendary NBA players, all-star teams from each of the five past decades, play with the legends one-on-one -on -one or five-on-five, -five. play with Michael Jordan, go one-on-one -on -one in a street court duel or play him on a legends team, enhanced player animations, new in-game speech, here on court player reactions, high fives, knuckle touches, and more, enhanced broadcast style presentation, new color commentary from all-star Reggie Theus, multiple camera angles, Deeper franchise mode, full NBA draft, and total team management. Face in the game. Download your or any face onto a player model and play with the pros. Create a whole team of you and your friends. So, again, this is the last game I got for the uh, Amazon slash e uh, eBay was NBA Live 2000 for the PC. And, again, I'm missing a game um, that I was trying to get. Uh, hasn't come in yet. I already bought it, but we'll do that on another video. It'll be a special special video for that. Oh, all of a sudden my nose is running. I don't understand why what the fuck's going on here. Alright, so now I went to a place in Holyoke. Okay. And for those of you who are familiar with Holyoke, let me just grab my uh, phone because I'm going to Google where the hell uh, this place was. Hold on one second. All right. This place in Holyoke is called Game Depot. Game Depot in Holyoke, Mass. It's also named Davon's Computer Service. So it's both. It's Davon's Computer Service and it's Game Depot. Either one is fine. Let me show you what I got. Now, I was there and um, where did I get this stuff? Oh, okay. I know what this is from. Okay. So I was there and uh, they had an Atari Lynx box in perfect condition and I wanted to buy it. The guy wouldn't let me buy it. I was pissed. He wanted to see if we had a link system. And even if he had the link system, I would have bought, I would have bought it. Because the box was in mint condition. Um, and so, of course, he doesn't have a link, so therefore he can't sell me the box. I was furious. But, um, the guy who was ringing me up really wasn't uh, smart. And now I'm going to save the game for last that he, I literally got the steal of a century, I believe. But let's go right into this. So the first game I picked up was for the PSP. It's NBA Ballers Rebound from Midway. An NBA superstar's life on the go. To live like an NBA superstar, you need to prove you have superstar skills. Create your player from hundreds of custom combinations and compete for the sweetest rides, the hottest fashions, and biggest mansions. Take on the best ballers anywhere in one-on-one -on -one action and go from no name to all-time great. So here, prove you are a superstar with all new PSP, PlayStation Portable, system-only modes like Dunkfest and King of Thieves, among others. Take your game, Wi-Fi, and Great Balls of Fire, and Maximum Juice matches, available only in multiplayer mode. Travel to brand new luxury courts, available only in the PSP system version. Updated rosters reflect free agent signings and trades, plus tons of superstar players debut in the Ballers franchise. Uh, NBAballers.com, NBA.com again for the PSP. Four bucks, I picked up NBA Ballers Rebound. Okay. Next up for the Dreamcast, I picked up Disney's Dinosaur from uh, Ubisoft, www.ubisoft.com, Disney Interactive. You are Aladar. Extinction is not an option in Disney's Dinosaur. Danger lurks at every corner as you lead the dinosaur herd through scorching lava flows, toxic smoke, and scalding geysers. It's the ultimate trek for survival. Master the survival skills of Aladar, Zini, and Flea. Fight Velociraptors, Albertosaurus, Diverped Raptors, and... Carnotaurs, featuring scenes taken directly from the film, interactive dinosaur encyclopedia included. Uh, Ubisoft, www.ubisoft.com, Disney Interactive. For the Dreamcast, we have Disney's Dinosaur. Next up for the Sega Saturn, I picked up um, All Star Baseball featuring Frank Thomas 1997. Uh, for the longest time, I wasn't able to find this. I finally grabbed it. The case, however, on the top here is very sticky, which isn't good. Um, now, you see $8. This was actually a dollar. Why is it 8 Well, I didn't think, being such a small store that it was, 
that I would be able to come up with a one dollar game, and the other, the only other cheaper, uh, cheapest game that they had there was eight bucks. Um, that wasn't an, a non-sports game, so I didn't think they would change the case out for me because it was only a dollar game. So I went behind there and I did it my so I, I you know said, oh look, they're all screwed up. So the front was fine, but the uh, the front was not fine. The back was fine. So he took the the eight dollar game that I had done this with, and he put it on here. So I ended up spending seven more dollars than I should have. And then I realized when he, when I went up there, he's like, oh no big deal, I'll just switch it for you. So I could have, had I been honest, could have saved myself seven bucks. Okay, obviously. So let's go on the back. It says a perfect game, all-star graphics, realistic player movement through motion capture technology, photorealistic player graphics, all-star realism, all 30 major league teams and over 700 players, complete statistics in 27 categories by Stats Incorporated, 1997 Major League Baseball schedule including interleague play, 1998 Tampa Bay Devil Rays and Arizona Diamondbacks expansion teams, all-star gameplay, each pitcher's arsenal features actual specialty pitches, advanced computer AI for the ultimate baseball challenge, exhibition season playoffs, all-star batting practice and home run derby game modes so right here in game graphics show all 28 3d rendered major league stadiums motion capture and animations by two-time mvp frank thomas play-by-play -play calls from john miller uh full season stat tracking for the entire league uh player perf players perform like real life counterparts trade players for that blockbuster deal visit www.majorleaguebaseball.com so again for the sake of saturn i paid seven more dollars than i should have uh, but we'll get to the end later and how I end up making up for it. So this is All-Star Baseball 97 for the Saturn. Let's put this, move this right over here if I can. Let's move these back. Boom. Okay. Now, next up, uh, I picked up for the PlayStation 2. This was 12 bucks. This was kind of a ripoff, but I needed it. Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes from LucasArts. Live the Clone Wars and play as your favorite Jedi and clone trooper in a brand new story. Intense Jedi combat. Leap and slice your way through enemy lines with the acrobatic power of a Jedi. Frantic clone blasting. Veiled an impressive arsenal of weapons from rocket launchers to thermal detonators. Join forces. Fight alongside a friend on any mission at any time with drop-in, drop-out co-op gameplay. www.clonewarsgame.com So again, for the PlayStation 2, we have Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes. Now, I was pretty uh, happy to find this. This is uh, in decent shape. Um, let me just see if it's the same size as this. I don't know if it'll fit. It may, actually. It may, it may not. Let's see if it'll fit in here. It'll be pretty sick if it does. If not, I'm going to have to try to find a case to, to fit this. But we'll see. And it... Oh, wow. I think it might. Yeah, it does. Cool. Awesome. For the Virtual Boy, I picked up Galactic Pinball. Okay. Uh, defend the galaxy from invaders in a spice in a spacey pinball game. Prepare to enter the vast expanse of the Milky Way. Put your pinball skills to an interstellar test with four incredible space tables. Blast your pinball at rotating planets and turn them into dust in the cosmic world. Send your puck flying through the galactic formations in the deep space colony. Defeat an evil skeleton and hit the ultimate UFO jackpot. Knock down multiple rings and destroy wicked assailants in an alien place. Defy arduous obstacles and save the world from impending devastation. Four spacey 3D pinball games, including Cosmic, Colony, UFO, and Alien. Incredible pinball moves forward, backward, up, down, and around outrageous obstacles. One player action with multiple hidden bumpers and rewarding bonus rounds. Amazing dimensional environments for the ultimate space travel. Actual gameplay is 3D. Um, and again, for the Virtual Boy, we have Galactic Pinball. In decent shape, not great. Just rip there. This box is a little mush there, you know, normal wear and tear, but in decent shape that I can actually, there's a little ripped here, okay. But anyway, Galactic Pinball. So, that's for the Virtual Boy, let's throw that over here. And now, for the ripoff of the century. I was expecting this game to go anywhere from $50 on up. I was expecting when he checked the price of the game, I think I paid $25 for the Virtual Boy game, which I'm fine with. But when I grabbed this, I said to myself, you've got to be kidding me. I didn't say this out loud. I said it to myself. I said, there's no way that they're actually giving this game to me for this price. Now, there's only one on eBay that you can find complete in box, maybe two, and they're 80 or and above. One's $100, one's $89. The game isn't that rare. It's uncommon complete in box. 
Um, but I couldn't believe I was able to grab it. Uh, now, by buying this game, I had the game pack itself, I had the instruction booklet, I just didn't have the box. And a long time ago, I thought I found the box on eBay for like 20 bucks. Somebody was just selling the box. And it would have saved me a lot of money had I bought it back then. But then when I got this, it's a good thing I didn't buy the box back then, because not only do I have the game, the instruction booklet, and now the full version of the game, uh, I could sell the other stuff and pretty much get this for free, because I could probably get five bucks easily for both, maybe ten. But the game in question is Godzilla for the original Game Boy from Toho Company LTD. Now, five dollars, complete in box for this, five bucks. I don't know what the hell the guy was looking up. I, I, I don't, he, he probably just looked at, a, a, you know, something real quick. I don't know. I wasn't going to ask questions. Uh, I know, like I told you, I spent $7 more on that other game. Well, I ended up, this is easily 60 minimally, 50 to 60 minimally on eBay. Minimally. And the two that are on there are 89 and above. So, for 5 bucks, I consider it a steal. If I can sell the Godzilla game with instruction booklet online for 10 bucks, I technically made $5 and got this for free. Even if I sell it for $5, which is worth more than $5, I got this for free. So this was a hell of a fucking steal. And I walked out of there, ran, I almost ran out of there. Because I didn't want to, you know, oh, I made a mistake. When he said $5, I said to myself, you've got to be kidding me. And I ran out of there. So, destroy all rocks and advance to the next scene. Somewhere among 64S... Oh, why? Let me re-fucking read this. Destroy all rocks and advance to the next scene. Somewhere among 64 scenes, Manila is confined. Do you remember that Godzilla had a little son? Manila is his name. He has been kidnapped by horrible monsters and confined to a great labyrinth called Matrix, which is overrun by powerful monsters. Can Godzilla rescue his son? Manila at stake. This game pack for use with the Game Boy Compact Video Game System, Toho Company LTD. Now, the interesting thing about this game is uh, the makers of the game actually were the creators of the original Godzilla movies. So, I found that pretty awesome when I was reading up on it way back in the day. So that was all I got at Davin's, or Game Depot if you want to call it. And then I went to a place called Game Hunters, also, and this was in Springfield, Mass. Game Hunters is a great uh, store. Um, I had been there a few years prior. Um, I don't think I was doing YouTube pickups at that time. Maybe I was. If you guys go all the way back to my beginning videos, I might have done one uh, from Game Hunters. But I had for completely forgotten about the store. I mean, it was in my subconscious. And then when I was down in that area, I said, oh, crap, let me see what else I can find as far as uh, video game stores in the Holyoke's Mass, Springfield Mass area. And I said, all right, I'll go there. As soon as I started going... Uh, up the streets and GPS was taking me where I needed to go. I knew immediately where this was. It's an awesome store uh, For those of you check it out. Uh, they're nice guys there. The guy gave me, you know He gave me like four or five dollars off my entire order, which he didn't have to do. I bought a ton of crap uh, a lot of Nintendo DS uh, I got there, so um, Let's go right on into this. This is a there's a ton of games at the store that I grabbed Um But before I go into Game Hunters, because I'm a complete asshole and an idiot, I went to a place in Connecticut. Let's go right into that first. Okay. This place was called... I don't know what the hell it's called. Give me a minute and I'll tell you. I didn't find a lot of games here. Um, I was, you know, I got a couple of things. I wasn't really that happy with my purchases. Not because of the price. So I didn't care about that. They were actually okay prices, I think. It was more so the fact that there really wasn't a lot of games. I was kind of disappointed. I had driven all the way out there, about an hour away, um, and there really weren't a lot of games that I needed. Um, but here's what the store is called. It's called Retro Games Plus. And I'll tell you where Retro Games Plus is. Let me tell you where it is right now. Retro... Games Plus. Newington, Connecticut is the one I went to. So let's first start with the games. Um, oh, sinuses. I don't know why I can't breathe. <coughs> uh, 
This is ridiculous. It's 900 degrees in this house. All right, first up for the PlayStation 2, Star Wars Starfighter. <coughs> it says three heroes, one enemy, all action. This is from LucasArts. Now you got a ridiculous sticker on the back here. This is come on, come on, guys. And of course, this isn't going to come off because there's like a ton of stupidity. Nope, alright, this isn't going to come off. I'm not going to waste time doing it. I'll do it later. But I assume it says, the first thing, it says courage, skill, and honor. These are the three primary qualities that you must bring to Star Wars Starfighter. A flight action adventure combining intense air and space combat in rich 3D environments. Join three Starfighter pilots in a series of harrowing missions to save Naboo and the galaxy from the oppressive abuses of the Trade Federation. May the Force be with you, young Starfighter pilot. Plot, pilot extraordinary 3D craft, including the Naboo NI and a variety of never-before-seen craft. Battle your way through stunningly real worlds and environments. Test your flying skills and courage through 14-plus missions. Star Wars Starfighter. Again, StarWars.com, Starfighter.LucasArts.com for the PlayStation 2. We have Star Wars Starfighter. Let's throw that over here. Let's turn my phone volume off because I'm getting comments, which is pretty cool, on my uh, YouTube video about the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. <laughs> that I, uh, Ed brought me in. Alright, next up for the PlayStation 2, Disney G-Force. Now, I wasn't happy that I saw this. The case is almost ripped right here, but for $4.95, what are you going to do? Lead the G-Force on their secret mission to save mankind. Battle new enemies using high-tech gadgets and weapons exclusive to the game. Play as Agent Starwin and Mooch as you race through action-packed adventures. Disney.com slash video games, G-Force the game.com. Again, for the PlayStation 2, Disney G-Force. Next up for the PlayStation 2, this is interesting. I already have this, but I don't know what the difference is between these two. I have the original game, and then I found this. Disney Classics Treasure Planet. Now, I have the regular Disney Treasure Planet for the PS2. I don't know the difference between Disney Classics here, but I grabbed it. Uh, grab some intergalactic air. Space pirate, solar surfing, a cyborg cook, the loot of a thousand worlds. Set sail on the RLS Legacy Galleon on the greatest treasure hunt of all times. Confront mutiny, betrayal, black holes, and deadly space storms. In-game graphic show, all-star cast from the film. Uh, oh, the hunt is on. Beware of pirate-infested galaxies, solar surfing, the new extreme sport, exclusive behind-the-scenes footage and other DVD extras. Man's best friend, shape-shifting pal, Morph. From Disney Interactive and www.disneyinteractive.com, we have Disney Classics Treasure Planet PlayStation 2. Also for the PlayStation 2, I grabbed uh, Spider-Man from Activision, the original Spider-Man game. Uh, go beyond the movie. Bitten by a genetically engineered spider, high school student Peter Parker is suddenly empowered with supernatural abilities, including spider sense, web slinging, and wall crawling. Assume the role of Peter Parker as he adapts to his new powers and becomes Spider-Man. But beware, the city's villains won't be pleased to see a new hero on the scene. Defend the city from the clutches of evil with all new combat moves and dizzying airborne acrobatics. Move through stunning scenes in the movie as you explore enormous city environments with newfound maneuverability. Battle the world's toughest villains, including Shocker, Vulture, and the Green Goblin. Go for the ultimate spin at www.sony.com slash Spider-Man. Activision.com. Again, PlayStation 2, we have Spider-Man. Next up for the Genesis, the only game I was able to find, I found Super Battleship, um, the classic naval combat game from Minscape, or Mindscape, the software tool works. Uh, not in the greatest of conditions, but again, what did I pay for this? $4.95, I'll take it, it's complete. Enemy subsided off the port bow, man your battle stations. Discover the thrill of commanding your own naval fleet of warships with this brand new spin on the classic Battleship game. Super Battleship gives you all the tough challenges of the original, plus a whole new arsenal of weapons and features. Ride the high seas with graphics so real the rookies may get seasick. Fire your torpedoes, aim your biggest guns, and hold on to your brains as you blast your way through every battle. A challenging campaign scenario tests your skills in naval warfare strategy. Seek out your hidden enemy before he finds you. But manage your fleet well or you may find your ships headed for the bottom of the sea. Features. Use radar, visual targeting, and high-tech communications to hunt down your targets. Stalk your enemy through a variety of battle layouts, including island chains, coastlines, and seaports. Maximize your firepower with depth charges, missiles, and other awesome artillery. Escort the supply ships, search and destroy a ship thought by the enemy to be unsinkable, or defend your home turf on one of many daring missions. Uh, again, for the one player for the Sega Genesis, we have Super Battleship. And I don't have a Genesis pile, so let's just go right here. All right. Next up, I got a couple of games for the PC. <laughs> Let's go right into that. Now, first up, we have Star Wars Battlefront. 
Giant PCC ROM software. Live the battles. Fight as a soldier on the front lines where every weapon and vehicle you see is yours. Take the Empire head on or crush the Rebellion, by yourself or with an army behind you. In-game graphics show, fight, fight up to 32 players in massive online battles. Pilot over 30 vehicles, including AT-ATs, X-Wings, and Snow Speeders. Battle on unique planets for the entire Star War, from the entire Star Wars saga. Pick your side. Rebels, Imperials, Clone Troopers, or Battle Droids. Choose your weapon wisely. Each soldier has different weapons and capabilities. Um, again, from LucasArts for the PC, we have Star Wars Battlefront. Next up for the games for Windows, we have Lego Batman the video game. Gotham City is falling to pieces. Play as Batman and a sidekick Robin as you build, drive, swing, and fight your way through Gotham City. Then jump into the story from the other side and play as Batman's foes. There is no rest for the good or the evil. In-game graphics show master unique superhero power suits, moves, gadgets, and weapons. Take control of favorite vehicles like the Lego Batmobile and Lego Batling. Explore your mischievous side as you wield the powers of your favorite villains. Again, for the PC, games for Windows here, we have Lego Batman the video game. And the last PC game was 2K Sports NBA 2K9, number one selling and rated next-gen NBA franchise, Kevin Garnett on the cover. Make this season matter. 2K HD, breathtaking action and full HD resolution brings you radically improved facial textures and eye movement, true-to-life crowd reactions and celebration sequences, and much more. Styles upon styles. New signature defensive styles and more signature shots, dunks, and free throws give you even more distinctive player styles. Adaptive AI. Now your teammates and your opponents read, react, and adjust in real time to match your gameplay strategies. The Association 2.0. All new NBA.com interface, player ambitions, player scouting, and more options for the casual player make this the most robust franchise mode ever. NBA.com for the PC, 2K Sports, NBA 2K9. The last game I got, um, I was pumped that I found it. It was decent price, decently priced. It's rare on the Saturn, very rare. Um, and then the case broke. The game instructions are okay, but I gotta I gotta go you know buy like a shitty Saturn game for like a dollar, see if they'll uh, change the case out for me because I don't know how to do it myself. I don't want to break it even more than it is. But this is in the hunt for the Saturn. Uh, the only way to describe in the hunt is to combine all the best shooters you have ever played into one game. Says EGM from February of '96. So having said that, uh, as you can see, it's broken here. It fell on the floor. This is broken. But dive, dive. You're the captain of the latest, meanest, baddest attacks up in the sea. And it's a good thing, too, because you're going to need every ounce of firepower you can muster to complete this mission. It's time to load torpedoes and open launch bays. The enemy is at full mobilization. Get ready for the wildest underwater action yet. Down periscope and blow them to squid spit. Full screen arcade shooters, simultaneous two player multi level naval warfare, hundreds of enemies to annihilate, six battle zones to explore and conquer, dozens of weapon combinations and power ups surfaced to air missiles, depth charges, supersonic torpedoes, floating mines, and more. So, again, for the Sega Saturn, a very rare game that I have to fix the case, but it's called In the Hunt. Put that over here. Now, the other two things I got at the store were uh, t-shirts. They had, uh, you know, XLs. Hopefully they fit. If not, I'm going to have to lose some weight to get into these. But the first t-shirt I got is a Dreamcast t-shirt, as you can see. All right, and then the next t-shirt that I got was a Saturn t-shirt as you can see just a Sega Saturn like so so I grabbed those okay now we're heading right into the uh, where I thought we were going to be before but this is the stuff I got at um, Game Hunters in Springfield Mass okay uh, first up I'm going to go into the DS I'm going to get all these games out there uh, I have a ton of games that I picked up at Game Hunters a uh, ton of stuff that was on my list that I needed. Uh, most of these, again, are going to be Disney Disney games. So we'll go right on into this, but let me just make sure I have everything here. They didn't have, they had like one PS1 game I needed, which I found very, very, very uh, interesting. Uh, they didn't have any Genesis, they didn't have any. Actually, they had two PS1 games. They didn't have any Genesis, they didn't have any, uh, you know, uh, Game Boy or any of that stuff that I needed. But uh, they had two PS1 games, or three PS1 games, DS games, and a couple of 32X, which I was happy to grab. So let's go right on into the, let's go to the PS1 games first, okay? First up we have Casper Friends Around the World. Uh, this was made by, can't even see who the hell it was made by. Anyway, Casper Friends Around the World. Boo! A kooky, spooky curse has been cast on Casper's mortal mates. 
Travel the globe to rescue them and jump, levitate, parachute, fling ghostly spheres and spring into action to battle Boo Bombs, Evil Spirits, Casper's Unfriendly Uncles, and the Evil Kingpin himself, Kabosh. Scare off evil enemy spirits with ghostly spheres. Travel to 11 different locations around the world. Parachute, levitate, and duck to avoid damaging obstacles. Three skill levels to master, easy, medium, and hard. Pick up special abilities, strength, speed, and spring. Uh, again, for the PS1, we have Casper, friends around the world. Put that right here. Next up, we have uh, Disney Kindergarten Learning, ages 4 to 6. Winnie the Pooh from BAM Entertainment. It's time for Kindergarten with Pooh. Christopher Robin has gone off to school, and Pooh decides he should very much like to go to school, too. Join Pooh in this wonderful learning adventure as Tigger, Piglet, Eeyore, and friends come together to hold school in the 100-acre wood. Experience the magic of learning as Pooh and his friends offer lessons on the alphabet, simple arithmetic, problem-solving, and much more. Strengthens 25 age-appropriate skills. Adjustable levels enhance individual skill levels. Progress report provides feedback on skill progression. So here we have early reading and spelling, learn about letters and words in the Owl's Treehouse Word Shop, simple arithmetic, use ruse balloons to count, add, and subtract numbers, sorting and classification skills, give Rabbit a hand sorting his shapes by size and color, listening and following directions, help Tigger navigate with a map to find the buried treasure, the key skills kids can learn, early reading, word recognition, spelling, single digit addition, single digit subtraction, number recognition, sequencing, sorting, categorization, size scale recognition, shapes, colors, listening skills, following directions, strategic think training, strategic thinking, excuse me, problem solving, visual creativity, music composition, and mouse skills. From Disney Interactive, again, from BAM Entertainment, we have Disney, Kindergarten Learning, ages 4 to 6, Winnie the Pooh. For the PS1. And the last PS1 game I grabbed was from Age Tech. It's just called Chess. Nothing special about it. It's your move. Take the most re revered game in history, take the most revered game in history, and add 3D interactivity, and you get At Games Chess. One or two players compete against the computer or each other in games that test mind power, concentration, and sometimes luck itself. Multiple backgrounds and fresh animated sequences augment the classic gameplay that's been a part of humanity for centuries. For all chess fans, beginners to masters, different modes of play offer unique challenges to seasoned players. Go up against a friend in the two-player mode. From agetech.com, uh, we have chess for the PS1. Now we're going to go right into the DS games. First up, we have Sonic Rush for the Nintendo DS. Double the screens, double the excitement. One screen's just not enough for Sonic the Hedgehog as he blasts his way onto the Nintendo DS and takes high-speed action gaming to a whole new level. It's the first game to really push the DS to its limits. Sonic rushes, races, and dashes between both screens with dizzying dives, near-vertical curves, extreme jumps, and brain-twisting loops over 14 massive levels. Prepare for a whole new dual-screen experience Sonic style. Here, dangerous boss levels challenge you in 3D combat. Sonic rushes to the extremes of both DS screens. Includes wireless play and a new mysterious female companion created exclusively for Sonic Rush. So from Sega and Sonic came, we have Sonic Rush for the Nintendo DS, which I'll throw right here. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Disney's Planes for the Nintendo DS. From above the world of cars, team up and fly with some of your favorite planes characters. Join Dusty and friends in heroic flying adventures. Compete in air rally races. So from Disney Interactive Studios, Disney.com slash planes video games, Disney.com slash video games, we have a sealed copy of Disney's planes. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Lego Star Wars um, 3, The Clone Wars, from LucasArts. The saga continues. Build, battle, and laugh your way through the Star Wars universe like never before. Play in levels spanning the entire Clone Wars era, including seasons one and two of the hit animated TV series. Play wacky mini games that turn the Star Wars universe on its head like snowball fights and droid volleyball. All new abilities like using your lightsaber to climb walls, Jedi Force leaps, and all new clone weapons. www.legostarwars.com, www.videogames.lego.com slash SW. Again, sealed for the Nintendo DS, we have Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. Next up, we have a sealed copy for the Nintendo DS of Disney's Phineas and Ferb Across the Second Dimension. Save the Tri-State Area. Battle against Dr. Dean as evil robots. Power up on awesome robot rides. Activate power pack gadgets. Baseball launcher, grappling hook, and electricity ray. Wireless broadband access required for online play. Basic ring abilities needed to fully enjoy this game. From Disney Interactive Studios, Disney.com slash Phineas and Ferb game. Disney.com slash video games. Sealed. The seal is starting to break a little bit. 
we have uh, for the Nintendo DS, Disney's Phineas and Ferb Across the Second Dimension. Next up, for the Nintendo DS, we have Disney Wreck-It Ralph from Activision. Help Ralph earn the recognition he deserves before it's game over. Play as powerful Ralph or Handy Felix. Venture through exciting worlds inspired by the film. Activision.com. Again, Disney Wreck-It Ralph, Nintendo DS. Next up, we have Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga from LucasArts. Kick some brick in 1 through 6. Play through a fun Star Wars galaxy that combines the endless customization of LEGO with the epic story from all six episodes of Star Wars. New, 30 levels created from the ground up for the DS. New, exclusive touchscreen action. And new includes all new minigames, www.legostarwarssaga.com. From LucasArts for the Nintendo DS, we have LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Next up, we have Disney Pixar Toy Story 3 for the Nintendo DS. Unleash your imagination. Playtime mode. Play as Buzz or Woody to defend your home base. Story mode, dive into heroic adventures from Toy Story 3, the movie. Disney.com slash Toy Story video games. Uh, DS multi-card wireless connected games require one game card per player. Basic reading ability to fully enjoy this game from Disney Interactive Studios. Disney Pixar, Toy Story 3, Nintendo DS. Next up for the Nintendo DS, if I take the sticker off, we have Madden 2005, the number one selling pro football franchise. Legendary franchise, all new features. Features, take on players across the room with new head-to-head -head wireless action. Use new touchscreen control to select plays, call audibles, and more. Control the action on the upper screen while keeping tabs on all 22 players with the field radar on the lower screen. Features the best 3D graphics available on a handheld with detailed uniforms and player portraits. www.allmadden.com, www.madden2005.com. Again, from Electronic Arts, we have Madden 2005. Next up, for the Nintendo DS, we have Disney Pixar Brave. Change your fate. Battle fierce enemies with your sword, bow, and arrow. Uncover secrets and break a magical, magical curse. Again, from Disney Interactive Studios, we have Brave. Next up, Walt Disney Bolt. And free inside, you have a $5 money, dollar movie money code. Offer valid 11-18-08 through 131-09. Live the action star life. Stars Bolt and Penny in over 30 action-packed missions. Fire up Bolt's superpowers to defeat enemies. Fly into action with Penny's wheel bar. BoltVideoGame.com. DS multi-card wireless connected games require one game card per player. Wireless router and Nintendo Wi-Fi USB connector and broadband access required for online play. Join the new online community for Disney gamers. D-Gamer details inside. From Disney Interactive Studios for the Nintendo DS, we have Walt Disney Pictures Bolt. Next up, from Disney, we have Phineas and Ferb. Jump on a wild ride as Phineas and Ferb. Play as Agent P to save the world. Use gadgets to build incredible inventions. Basic reading abilities need to fully enjoy this game. From Disney Interactive Studios, we have Disney, Phineas, and Ferb. Next up, for the Nintendo DS, we have Disney, Phineas, and Ferb. Quest for cool stuff from Majesco. Cool treasure awaits beyond the Tri-State. Dig, drill, and blast through an out-of-this-world adventure with Phineas and Ferb as you collect fun stuff for the Museum of Cool. Explore ancient temples, underwater caverns, and the moon. Save the tri-state area as crime-fighting Agent P. Build, customize, and upgrade the do-it-all transformation. Questforcoolstuff.com. Again, MajescoENT.com, Majesco Entertainment, Disney. We have Phineas and Ferb, Quest for Cool Stuff for the DS. Next up for the DS, we have Disney Frozen Olaf's Quest. This is sealed from Game Mill Entertainment. Olaf's journey is just beginning. Slip, slide, jump, and roll in fun, colorful levels. Grab hidden treasures for high scores. Includes fire reaction, fresh puzzles, and humor. Again, for the Nintendo DS, a sealed copy of Disney Frozen Olaf's Quest. And next up, we have Disney Princess Magical Jewels. Experience the magical worlds of some of your favorite Disney princesses. Help restore the magical power to the Golden Kingdom. Collect the jewels to unlock the golden dresses. Adventurous minigames. PrincessVideoGames.com. Disney.com slash video games. Again, Disney Princess Magical Jewels for the Nintendo DS. Next up, we're going to take a break out of the Disney routine and go to Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword from Tecmo. You've never seen a game on the DS that looks like this, says Nintendo Power. Intuitive Control. Guide Master Ninja Ryu Hayabusa through intense battles and non-stop action all with a DS stylus. New Story. A brand new storyline shown through dramatic cutscenes reveal even more mysteries surrounding the world of Ninja Gaiden. Prove you're the best. Post your Karma score via the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection to see how you rank amongst other players. Uh, again, from Tecmo, for the Nintendo DS, we have Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword. Next up, we have CSI, Crime Scene Investigation Unsolved from Ubisoft. 
Do you have what it takes to be a CSI? Dust for fingerprints, collect clues, interrogate suspects, and catch dangerous criminals in this intriguing case solver. Team up with the cast of Season 10 to investigate puzzling criminal cases. Use your stylus and microphone to analyze the evidence and crack the case. Play 15 types of challenging minigames such as bullet comparison and x-ray. Plus use the Nintendo DSi camera for exclusive lab and field work. Again, for the Nintendo DS, we have CSI, www.csiunsolved.com. CSI Crime Scene Investigation Unsolved. And last up for the DS, we have from Disney, Tron Evolution. Save the digital grid from complete meltdown. Race light cycles and battling grid tanks with up to four players. Battle enemies in light disc combat as a powerful system monitor. Join the online community for Disney Gamers, Gamer, D Gamer. Uh, wireless broadband access required for online play. Basic reading abilities needed to fully enjoy this game. DS Multicard Wireless Connected Games require one game card per player. Again, from Disney Interactive Studios, we have Tron Evolution. And then net, last up, again, this is all from Game Hunters. Um, I was able to grab these, which I'm really happy I was able to grab. What do we got here? This is... Oh, I did grab a Genesis game. I apologize. I did not know I grabbed one. So let's go right on into it. We have, from Capcom, Super Street Fighter 2. Uh, exclusive Street Fighter 6 button pad offer inside expires 130.95. This is rated MA13, by the way. Capcom Super Street Fighter 2, a new challenge awaits. For two years, they have reigned supreme. Twelve of the most gifted fighters from across the world have battled each other in the World Warrior Tournament. But the time has come for them to step aside. Now is the time for the new. Ch now is the time of the new challengers. Cami, DJ, T Hawk, and Fei Long have earned the right to enter the World Warrior Tournament. Each of them possesses a lethal combination of martial arts skills that they believe can destroy Bison. But can they survive the original Street Fighters and their new abilities? Only the true Street Fighters among you will find out. Features four all-new characters plus new moves and animations for the original Street Fighters. Includes hot new mo modes including group battle, tournament battle, and the time challenge. 40 megs, the largest Genesis game ever. One or two players, again, for the Genesis Super Street Fighter 2. So we'll throw that over here. Let me take a... Blow my nose here for this nonsense. All right. And lastly, uh, for the games that I bought from this store, first up for the 32X, we have Star Trek Starfleet Academy, Starship Bridge Simulator. Oh, let me go right into this. Challenge your tactical skills. Command the Starfleet's finest vessels and pilot your way through dozens of stunning scenarios. Sneak through a Klingon gauntlet to rescue thousands of colonists, or lose your whole crew in a warp core breach. Can you master the leg legendary Kobayashi Maru scenario? So here, command five different Federation vessels, warp through space aboard the bridge of a star cruiser, serve your initiation as a cadet, and work to the ultimate honor of command. Experience the beauty of the Final Frontier in high-speed 3D polygon graphics. This is from Interplay. Again, for the 32X, we have Star Trek Starfleet Academy, Star Bridge, Starship Bridge Simulator. And lastly, we have RBI Baseball 95 for the 32X from Time Warner Interactive. Step up to the plate and drive one into the cheap, sheet, cheap seats. Crisp color graphics and realistic gameplay make RBI Baseball 95 the latest, greatest installment in the best-selling RBI Baseball video game series. Improved artificial intelligence enhances computer opponent strategies like base stealing, bunting, and runner pickoff attempts. Experience an incredible view of those fastballs, curveballs, and sliders with the large realistic batter catcher playing view. State-of-the-art digital video displayed in 256 colors provides a fantastic look and feel at the plate. Jumping and diving catches, stolen bases, powerful home runs, you'll find it all and more in RBI Baseball 95. MLBPA license means real players and real 94 stats, plus player statistics for division winning teams back to 1986 and all star teams back to 1990. A full 162 game season, plus playoffs and a world championship series. Experience a real at the plate feel with the large batter catcher playing view. Expanded game features include player substitutions, double switches, infield fly rule, team construction, defense practice, home run derby, and throwing game breakers. Full colored background graphics for all 28 stadiums with correctly proportioned infields and matching outfields. Again, from Time Warner Active for the 32X, we have RBI Baseball 95. Now, um, I grabbed some PC games there. The guy not only gave me, like I said, 4 or $5 off my entire order, but he gave me these PC games absolutely free, which I found to be pretty cool. So let me go right on to these games that I grabbed. They were extremely dusty. He said, hey, they're dusty. I'll just give them to you. This is Disney's Toontown Online, 
Play online with other tunes like you. Internet connection required. Includes two months of game time with purchase. Additional subscription fees apply thereafter. Um, the evil robot cogs have invaded and it's up to you and your friends to save Toontown. Are you tune enough? Create your own cartoon character, explore amazing lands, meet your friends online and play together, level up your skills, compete in all new kart racing, includes a virtual in-game kart racer plus a cog poster to hang on your wall. The best part is it's always growing, always changing, and is as wild as your imagination. So again, for the PC, we have Disney's Toontown Online. Next up for the PC, I was able to grab CSI Crime Scene Investigation Hard Evidence. Original case is based on the CBS hit series. The truth is yours to discover. A drop of blood, a missing screw, a mysterious powder. Separately, they mean nothing. Together, they tell a brutal story of murder. Join the CSI team in Vegas for more crime solving than ever before. Explore detailed crime scenes in five all new and bizarre cases. Take part in dramatic interrogations and break down the evidence alongside your favorite CSI investigators. New Garage Lab allows you to examine large pieces of evidence www.csihardevidencegame.com Again, from Ubisoft, www.ub.com, we have CSI Crime Scene Investigation Hard Evidence for the PC. Next up for the PC, grabbed Disney Alice in Wonderland, inspired by the Tim Burton film, the PC DVD ROM game inspired by the movie. <clears throat> Take an extraordinary trip down the rabbit hole. Discover a world full of adventure inspired by the Tim Burton movie. Master the special abilities of five characters to help Alice. Play with a friend in co-op mode. AliceVideoGame.com. Disney.com slash video games. We have Alice in Wonderland for the PC. And the last game I grabbed officially was Disney's Atlantis The Lost Empire Trial by Fire. Okay, so if we go to the back of this. Let's move this back a little bit. Go deeper than you've ever dared. New dangers await you at every turn. When lava starts rising fast, you have to move even faster. If you don't, your way will be blocked and the villainous Rourke will escape. In the world of Atlantis, things have a way of stepping out of your nightmares and into your path. Like Gorlocks, the monstrous creatures who don't fight fair. Of course, that means you don't have to either. So, uh, from Disney Interactive, www.trialbyfiregame.com. The last game at Game Hunters was Disney's Atlantis The Lost Empire Trials by Fire. Let me throw that up here, and let me take a quick panoramic view of all the games we've gone over. These are the PS2 games I have. Virtual Boy, Original Game Boy, uh, Genesis. We have Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Color floating around in there. Saturn. PSP, Dreamcast, PS1, 32X, Game Gear. All of these are DS games, and then all PCB games back here. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. This will be the second part coming up. I'll probably um, just call it a different uh, numbered video game pickup video, but this next one is massive. I went to New York City, and I grabbed a ton of stuff, a ton of rare stuff, I spent almost three grand on games going out there, so uh, we'll see it. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.